G'day again Blender Heads and welcome to another quick start guide for the Creature Kit Bash add-on. In this video we're going to talk about sculpting your models to a much higher level of detail. So let's say you've got a nice creature here, some sort of wolf demon hybrid thing, and you're ready to start adding some additional details to it. Now generally speaking I would say that if you want to add lots of details to your sculpts you would want to use the multi-resolution modifier. This allows you to go to very, very high levels of details in your sculpts. However, the multi-resolution modifier is specifically designed to work with quad topology. And unfortunately, our character here at the moment isn't. You can see I've done a um, dine topo on this guy. I I've actually gone through and like, cleaned up some of the edges and stuff where I bullioned him together. Uh, and that's given us you know, some pretty bad topology for sculpting at that level of resolution. This is fine if you just want to kind of sculpt base meshes and I'm, you can go even more detailed than this but if you want to start getting into like skin pores or I mean this is a wolf if you wanted to start uh, sculpting fur or something you're probably going to want to use the multi-resolution modifier and this mesh just won't work for that. So in terms of adding more detail to this mesh this guy is perfectly fine if we just go into sculpt mode we have both uh, dine topo and remesh at any point, you know, feel free to just remesh your mesh if you uh, if you need some more detail here. Um, in this case, I think I've actually lost a little bit of detail. Uh, or you can use Dine Topo, and um, you can uh, use this to sculpt in some additional detail. If you want more resolution, always feel free to crank this up, and you can see I get a lot more polygons here. I can add a lot more detail with that. And there's no reason that I couldn't like brush over his entire body here, give myself a lot of detail to be able to sculpt with, and then start coming in here and you know, really sculpting in some much more fine detail than what we've currently got. But if you want to go to that next level of detail, you're going to need to use the multi-resolution modifier, and this mesh just isn't going to cut it. You're going to need to retopologize this guy before adding a multi-res. Uh, and I'll make sure that there's some links in the uh, in the description below. Already have some tutorials on uh, retopology, so you can follow along with those if you need to get up to speed. But just to give you an example of exactly why we don't want to add a uh, multi-resolution modifier to this guy, to start with, I'm just going to grab. Let's just grab this bare base mesh here. I'm going to add this. Let's just move them over to the side a little bit. You can see that as this is one of our base meshes, he's already been retopologized. Uh, he's got really nice quad topology. So for him, a multi-resolution modifier is going to work perfectly fine. So I'll just subdivide this a couple of times, and you can see that it's very quickly adding that next level of subdivision. And it's only once we get up to about level 4, you can start to see a little bit of lag. But once we go into sculpt mode, let's just turn off the wireframe here, uh, you can see that this is extremely responsive. This is This is real time. So that's great. If you've got quad topology, multi-res will work fine. On the other hand, let's take our little Mr. Wolfman here with his absolutely terrible topology. Let's try adding a multi-resolution to him and let's hope the blender doesn't crash. So if I hit subdivide, you can see this is taking quite some time even just to get to level one. And with our bear, we went all the way up to level four. And if you want to start sculpting stuff like fur or skin pores, you're going to want to get to level 3, 4, 5, 6, depending on your mesh. So this guy is not going to work with a multi-res modifier. As you can see, it's still trying to load. And in fact, I need to be a little careful here because I, I tried doing this with a different model before, and it didn't just crash Blender. It crashed my whole computer. So hopefully this is still recording. There we go. Okay, it's finally added level 1. Um, and if I go into sculpt mode here, it'll probably take a brief moment to get into sculpt mode. Once we're in here, it's actually not too bad, but if we tried to subdivide up to another level, Blender's going to really start to struggle. Once you've added enough detail to your base mesh using tools like Remesh or Dyn Topo, make sure that you go through, retopologize it, and then look at adding your multi-res modifier. Don't try and add it to these meshes that have this kind of bad geometry. 